Good morning guys, welcome to another vlog. We're just having some eggs with lots of vegetables. So we've got spinach, red onion, tomatoes. Excuse the noise in the background. Um, so I'm just gonna make some coffee for me. And then lately, Rocco's has been having um, this one from Backstage Cafe in Vilnius. This is their Thailand. Um, Typica ex Espresso. It's got a taste of black chocolate, grapefruit, caramel, and maretto. Um, so we're gonna make that for him. making uh, smoothies for us so just use this almond milk um, a banana and then we bought a plum and nectarine hybrid so popped one of those in uh, two spoons of gut bliss powder from daily spoon which has spirulina uh, chia seeds uh, ginger one spoon of mac powder really good it's very banana because I added one more banana Rockus is exercising. Rocket people want to see our pizza recipe. What do you say to that? <laughs> From the weekend, he said. So guys, I was just filming my hair care and something exciting has arrived. So I want to show you. And it's from Monica Vinader. If any of you guys are OG followers, you'll know that I'm a massive fan of Monica Vinader. They have drastically reduced on packaging, which is very nice to see actually because the jewelry came in this tiny box and then an even tinier box on the inside. So I got myself some gorgeous diamond uh, huggies they're so tiny i actually thought they would be slightly bigger i didn't look at the sizing but judging from pictures they looked a little bigger but i actually like that they're so tiny because i want to wear them um, right here so i'm gonna exchange these two old earrings and have these beautiful riva diamond huggies Look how special these earrings are. I'm in love. You guys might remember this ring that I wear a lot from Riva Collection. It's um, it's got diamonds as well. And now I will have teeny tiny earrings from this collection. Dorian! And these will be my everyday earrings. So I'm just gonna have them um, in my ear every day and shower and sleep with them and I wanted huggies like this because they're super comfortable uh, I mean you cannot feel the clasp so they're gonna be very comfy to sleep with and I'm gonna put them in my ear so it might take me a minute or two to put them on um, but yeah this is the ring that I've had for so so many years and it's still absolutely perfect. I love it. Um, and here I want to change my um, everyday earrings as well. I want them all to be Monica Vinader. So I want to get the exact same ones but bigger. They have a bigger size. So I would wear them here. Then these two tiny ones up here. And then these two piercings. Um, I don't know. I might get something interesting. Uh, maybe a stud here. 
Let's go with this one first. My ear will be super red. I only managed to get one huggy in my ear in the lower piercing. I look at how big my ear has become because of all the fidgeting with it. <laughs> like this is the normal ear. This one is super red and slightly swollen. I just couldn't get it in. Um, as the earring is tiny but like this one is looking cute anyway I'm gonna show you what it looks like when my ear comes down and I have both of them in but yeah they're beautiful and I love them we're going out for a walk just getting dressed Lauren is excited I'm wearing a vintage jumper and my Lindex leggings and gonna wear a trench coat and some sneakers and this is what we're having for dinner tonight we're having bowls so I cooked rice the way that I usually do and then added lots of vegetables salmon um, any one of our favorite things to eat but we usually have it for lunch hey guys it's the next day and i figured that yesterday i forgot to mention the very important thing about monica vinader earrings i tried today to put the earring but it was impossible it's just i don't know what's up with that piercing hole uh when i put a simple earring or even the thick one the one that i got my ear pierced with it's all fine, it goes in, but because the hoop is like that, it just hooks somewhere else and doesn't come through. And it just gets painful and my air gets red and yeah, it's just super annoying. So I don't know, I might have to go to a professional piercer to ask, um, ask her to put the earring in basically because I'm not able to. So for now, I just put it here. As you can see, it is a little red. But the earrings are so so beautiful i love them so yeah i want this one to be up here but i'm just gonna wait for my ear to come down a little and then maybe go get it get it put in here so yeah as i said the important thing is that i have a discount code for you guys you can get 20 percent off with the code right here so if you enter that at a checkout you'll get 20% off any Monica Vinader jewelry, which is incredible. I mean, it's it's a really big discount. And today I received some more jewelry from another brand that's new to me. So I'm gonna sit down and tell you guys all about it. Look who's next to me and look at the way Dorian is sitting. Um, so yeah, as I said, I wanted to talk about jewelry and some beauty products because today it was a delivery day. I received some incredible, incredible beauty products and jewelry as well. So I want to tell you guys about this brand. It's called Chinko and you have never heard of it before and I love the aesthetic of the brand. So the jewelry came in this box, then you open it up you get your receipt and a note card um, in here and then this is another box in here you open it up and here is where the jewelry was and uh, this was gifted to me by the brand so just heads up uh, I didn't purchase it myself but I chose the jewelry myself so they have lots of beautiful jewelry from earrings to bracelets necklaces everything just sort of minimal very classic very wearable for everyday sort of timeless jewelry that you could wear every day so i'm sure i'll wear these two bracelets every day maybe the bangle not every single day because it's um chunkier but this one for sure it's so unique like I've never seen anything like it before that's why it sparked my interest it's like a snake chain bracelet and it goes from gold to silver it's like an ombre effect 
and you can choose the size between 17 and 19 centimeters if I'm not mistaken um, when you order so I love that because it fits my tiny wrist perfectly because usually bracelets tend to be too big and then this one is super unique as well um, wait a sec I'm gonna take it off so you just Take it off like this. It's slightly moldable. It's gold, but it's rubbed off in places, so silver comes through. So yeah, it's just like a mixture of gold and silver. And I love that effect, because as I said, I've never seen anything like it before. So you just put it on like this. And yeah, they're so beautiful and so unique. I love this duo. So a massive thanks to Chinko for sending over these gorgeous, gorgeous pieces. I absolutely love them. Um, okay, and now, as I said, I'll show you some beauty products that are incredible. So I was sent some Grown Alchemist products to try um, mid-summer or the beginning of summer. And I really like them and the brand sent me a few more of their products to try. They sent me their nourishing shampoo and conditioner and it's an all-natural Australian brand. Their products are vegan, gluten-free, um, sir toxic free recyclable packaging, I mean only good things. And I love their branding, their aesthetic and the quality of the product. Um, so yeah, these have got damask, rose, chamomile and lavender. Uh, the conditioner and the shampoo damask rose black pepper and sage so they also smell incredible um, they also included this lip balm which is their watermelon and vanilla lip balm which was the first product that I bought myself from grown alchemist um, and I have a couple of these already so this one I gave to Rakas. It's a lovely lip balm that smells like watermelon and it just leaves um, a nice gloss to your lips. Then I got their... By the way, I chose all of these products myself because this was something that I really wanted to try. This is their roll-on deodorant uh, with Icelandic moss extract and sage. Um, so that sounds amazing. It's toxic free and it smells really good. It could definitely be uh, a unisex deodorant. It comes in a glass bottle and yeah, it's definitely a very unisex scent because it just smells earthy um, as you can imagine moss and sage Super earthy and quite masculine I would say so Rokas when he smelled it. He said wow. I love this scent The product I'm mostly excited about is their intensive body cream with damask rose acai and pomegranate when I smelled it I was like Ooh. This, hands down, is my new favorite body cream. Um, yeah, because I love the smell of rose and it just smells of roses, which is incredible. And yeah, as I said, like everything about their packaging is so beautiful. It's such a beautiful brand, honestly. If I created a brand, I would want it to look like this. So yeah, thank you Grown Alchemist for these stunning products. Um, yeah, can I wait to use this after a shower? And then I was also sent the newest fragrance by Chloe. It's Chloe Eau de Parfum Naturel. It's 100% natural origin fragrance, organic rose. And I love what Chloe is doing. Um, they're using recyclable materials. The glass bottle um, is made of 25% recycled materials. Cardboard contains 40% recycled materials. It's vegan. Um, alcohol is of natural origin. So yeah, they're changing the whole the whole um, policy of the brand, I guess. So that's nice to see. And this is the, the bottle, the classic Chloe bottle. Believe it or not, I've never owned a Chloe perfume, although I love the brand and this is such a classic scent, but I never felt that it was for me. It was quite a powdery rose. Whereas this one, oh my God, this is my new favorite perfume. I just, I just adore it. It's got black currant in it, neroli, 
mimosa, rose, uh, cedar. It's just a fresh rose and yeah, just wanna bathe myself in this fragrance. It's very, it's very summery. So I wish I received it at the beginning of summer because it would have been such a perfect summer scent. But I'm gonna wear it throughout the beginning of autumn. Like this fragrance and this rose body lotion, it's just, I love the fact that it smells fresh. It's like a fresh, youthful, sparkling rose. It's not that powdery, granny, floral scent, you know? Thank you so, so much, Douglas, for sending me this fragrance. Um, it's absolutely stunning. So, yeah, these are going to be my new favorite products, uh, my new favorite jewelry. So just wanted to share with you guys because everything is honestly mwah. Currently obsessed with the song. Uh, I'm gonna get copyright issues. Check it out. It's called OK OK by Pina Danja. Um, I made Rosato for the first time ever using Thermomix. So let's see the result. This is the recipe if any of you have Thermomix. Uh, I called my mom and she, it's funny that she knew it by heart and she basically told me what to do, but it's in Thermomix recipe book, by the way. Very good wine. Let's open it. The hot steam will come out now. Just gotta be careful. Made it with shrimp. So let's have a look. Looks nice. A little too liquidy maybe. But let's see, hopefully it will taste good. The problem is that we don't have Parmesan to sprinkle on top, which is essential for risotto. But what you gonna do? Just gonna add some basil. Voila, that's the result. Let's hope it will taste nice as well. There you go. We're gonna watch a French movie while eating that. So I'm gonna end my vlog here, but let's, let's try the result right now. I wanna tell you guys if it's good or not. Mmm, pretty good. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.